Hi guys, now the topic of this lesson is weekends. Now weekends are very weird <laughs> in the cryptocurrency market, so to speak. And due to stocks and FX not having tradable activity during the weekend as the markets are closed, we're thrown into a new scenario that not many of us are used to. The banks do not send money during the weekend. So SEPA transfers and wire transfers normally do not go through until the working days normally on a Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, if you're sending the money on a Friday. So what's essentially happening is no money comes into the market on the weekends due to no investor being able to actually get fiat currencies in. However, the cryptocurrency investors and the manipulators, aka those that have the large quantities of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, you name it, those people in particular and those entities are the ones that control the market during the weekend as they have the largest quantity of tradable volume. So they can manipulate the markets. And what you tend to see every single weekend is a drop of around five to 7%. This usually occurs from Saturday edging into midnight Sunday. So once we hit Sunday, we're normally almost every Sunday having a negative day. Now the only exception today in the top 10 especially is Ripple. I mean, we even have Cardano down almost 16% today. We have Stellar Lumens not doing too bad. Stratus actually outperforming quite nicely, whereas Arc is down almost, to, well, Arc is down 9%. So if we look back to the top 10, the only reason Ripple is currently up is due to the Swell Conference happening in roughly 15 hours. So what that necessarily means is there's been a lot of hype around this conference and it's been heavily expected prices going to boom during this period. So it seems like that is currently taking place. However, the rest of the market, what you're essentially seeing is people taking profits. Weekends are profit taking zones and profit taking regions for many investors. The weekend comes, people have made a lot of money during the week. They want to take their money out during the weekends. So essentially, especially when Bitcoin's falling in value, it normally means if Bitcoin's almost fallen, $400, $500 today. So what that's essentially telling me is people are taking their money out, they're shifting them into either different coins, in this case today it is Ripple. If not, they're shifting the money straight back to their bank accounts. They're selling their crypto for fiat currencies and wire transferring them or separate transferring them into their banks. Now of course, although these will not hit till the working days during the weekday, that means they've already liquidated their cryptocurrency position. So they are falling in value. And this is a repetitive cycle, guys. I'm talking almost every weekend in a row. I'm talking maybe since Ethereum was around $25. I've seen this exact cycle happen again and again and again. And people tend to think it means their crypto is reversing. And this is a psychological mind trip by the manipulators of the market. They want you to believe something drastic is going to happen over the weekend and they want you to panic sell. Now, I keep trying to drill this into many investors and everyone listening to this course. Psychology is crucial when it comes to investing in cryptocurrency. Now, this may look absolutely horrific and the end of the cryptocurrency market, but guys, it's really not. Within roughly 12 hours, when it comes back to Monday, many people around the world, especially the Asian markets, etc., they're already back to buying and they'll buy up and recoup all of the previous day's losses or the weekend's losses. So what I want you to take from this lesson is pay attention on weekends and study and start to take note of how the crypto is working a pattern from weekdays shifting over to the weekend. This way you're prepared and you can take profit on the weekends like a majority of the large market players or you can sit back and simply put your money in in advance. So when the weekend comes and the market falls in value, you have your fiat currency in your exchange ready to buy. This way you see a fall, for example, like Dash, 5.10%. If you were heavily invested in Dash, you could have easily put more money in today or bought some crypto from somewhere like Coinbase, where you put the Ethereum straight into the exchange and buy on the same day. I do cover that in a later on lesson. But guys, please take away from this, do not panic when it comes to the weekends. It does get messy, but this is part of the market. I'll see you in the next lesson.